Now that I have gone through all the aspects of how the microscope works, how to use the tablet, how to use the instructor microscope, how to use the software that goes back and forth between the, t the microscopes and the instructor computer, we come to the last part, which is how to put away the microscope. Because we want to make sure that these microscopes stay in good condition and are ready and waiting for the next class to come in and benefit from them. So, just as before, you want to tell your students always to put away whatever slides they have out. So take them off the microscope, put them back where they belong. In addition, you want to tell your students to turn the microscope off at the base. So they would flip off the microscope, unplug it, and there's only one plug for the microscope because the tablets are actually being powered through the microscope. So we want to unplug it and then hold down that power button again. Remember, it's the button most to the left in the upper corner. As you hold that down, you get the option to power off or reboot. So you want to press power off and you want to turn it off. In addition to that, unlike in the previous labs where we would always tell them to turn the head around, we don't want to do that. We've actually removed the thumb screws on most of the microscopes so that it cannot be done. But in case yours still has a thumb screw, do not have your students turn the heads around. What we found is in the past, when students would unscrew the heads, it would loosen it to the point where the head could potentially fall off. As you can see, the microscope on its own right is not going to fall over unless I push it really hard. But if this is loosened, that would just topple it right over and we don't want that to happen. So this will keep the microscope in better shape over the long run. So have them wrap up the cord and put the microscope back where they found it. One thing I should point out that right now we have one year until the renovations are done at RCC. These microscopes have been sized up for the new cabinets that they're going to be fitting in. Unfortunately, those cabinets will not be here until a year from now. So for the moment, in every class, there's a designated spot where the microscopes are being kept. For instance, in this class, the microscopes are being kept here along this unused bench. In some of the other classrooms, they're on a different bench. Some of them, they can actually be kept in some of the cabinets, but the doors are not being closed on the cabinets so that they don't hit the oculars. So wherever the microscopes were initially, please make sure that the students bring them back there. Uh, a couple of other things, in addition to turning the tablet off and unplugging, please make sure that they do not press this button in right here. Remember, when it goes in, it cuts off the light going to the microscope. So the next person to use this microscope will not see any images. Make sure that they leave this in the out position. Also, please remind them to put the microscope back to USB. If they've been using their cell phone or their tablet and grabbing images that way, that's great. We want them to use it. But we also want this to be back in USB mode so that the next student who uses this when they turn the tablet on will be able to get the images right away. When transporting this microscope, it's a little bit heavier than the old microscopes. Obviously it has the added weight of the camera and the tablet, but in addition to that, this is a bit heftier than some of the, the microscopes we had previously. I would recommend telling all your students to pick it up by this handle in the back. So this is one spot and then remember they should never be picking it up with just one hand. Then they should grab it over here by the platform. And this is the best way to carry it. Two hands, one on the back, one on the front. And then they can carry it from their desk and put it back where it belongs.